Hello everybody and welcome to Easy Medicine. My name is Carsten, I'm a fourth year medical student and today we are gonna tackle a medical quiz. I hope it's a tough one, we're gonna see. Um, I want you to guess along and put your results down in the comments below so we can see if you got what it takes to be a doctor. Let's get straight into it. So, first question. In order for something to be basic, it must have a PDA level of what? Less than three, six or greater than seven. Well, this is very easy. Um, our pH scale is uh, halved at seven. Seven is a more neutral pH. Our blood has a pH of 7.35 to 7.45. Uh, 7 um, everything below that, so less than three and six is acidic and everything greater is basic. Okay, I think we get the results later because this is more neutral, all right? Yeah, okay, we get the results later. Let's see. Office workers are prone to carpal tunnel. Where are the carpal bones? Wrist, elbow, or shoulder? This is very easy, the carpal bones are right here in your wrist. The stapes is the smallest body in your body. Where is it located? I ear, nose or foot? Well, the stapes is included in a complex system that transmits sound waves from the eardrum to the inner ear. So it's in the ear, more correctly in the middle ear. So much for sexual dysfunction. Viagra was originally developed to treat which condition? High blood pressure, narcolepsy or male birth control. I know for a fact that this is high blood pressure. They later refunction it to be uh, for more potency. An EKG measures the heart's electrical activity. What does EKG stand for? Electronic Kelvin graph, electrocardiogram or electronic potassium graph. It's the electrocardiogram um, the term comes more from the Greek word where cardio is written with a K and not with a C. Which disease is not hereditary? Parkinson's disease, Giardia, cystic fibrosis or sickle cell anemia? Parkinson's disease is a very nasty disease, it's a neurodegenerative disease um, and it's definitely, definitely uh, hereditary. Cystic fibrosis is also a really, really nasty disease, affects a lot of young people really, really bad. And sickle cell anemia is also hereditary. Here, your red blood cells are not like donut shaped, like they're always called, but they are really in this, this sickle form. Um, if you get this in a condition where you only get it heteropsychotic, so only one half of what it takes to express the full disease, this can actually protect you against malaria. Very, very interesting. And Giardia is a parasite that lives in your intestines. It's called Giardia duodenalis or Giardia intestinalis. So this is an acquired disease. Okay, that's already one half, I guess, maybe. Let's see. What's the function of the gallbladder? To filter the body's toxins, to hydrate the intestines, or to store bile? Well, to filter the body's intestine, um, toxins, we already know that this is the liver, and to hydrate the intestines, there are just a lot of cells that flush out water and reabsorb water um, to get you all the nutrients that are inside the food. So the gallbladder stores bile. And therefore, it is not compulsory. So you can extract the gallbladder and live without it. What is the purple part of the brain? Ooh. Cerebellum, pituitary gland or frontal cortex. So let's go back to the brain. The red part you see here is the frontal cortex. This is something that is very new. If you look at evolution and the frontal cortex is something absolutely groundbreaking for thinking, for creative thinking. And the pituitary gland is right here inside the frontal cortex, right above 
the chiasma opticum, just a term where the nerves of your eyes cross. Um, the pituitary gland is a lot in function of your hormones. And the, uh, the purple part you see right down here is the cerebellum. The cerebellum is really, really old. Here are functions like equilibrium and this exact movements. This is what's, uh, what's, what's coordinated here. God damn it. I need to speak more English. <laughs> so, the, there's a reason you get your blood pressure taken at every doctor's visit, which is a healthy blood pressure. 119 to 70, 125 over 82, and 140 over 90. Well, blood pressure is a disease. This is something a lot of people do not realize. They think, yeah, I got no diseases. Yeah, okay, I got blood pressure and I take medications for it, but I'm healthy. No, those people are not healthy and hypertension is something you have to take really, really seriously. And everything above 120 is considered as hypertension. Just stage one hypertension, but it's already hypertension. And above 140, is close to stage 2 hypertension, so it's 119 over 70. There are so many medications to treat so many symptoms, which is not a cholesterol medications. Ultrapreph, Socor, Citalopram or Livalo. This is simply for effect Citalopram. I don't think I need to explain this, this is not really important. Cancer is always a serious issue. Which type of cancer is generally the least serious? Squamous, basal cell or melanoma? Squamous cell cancer is really, really aggressive. Always um, forms metastasis at different at distant places. Super, super nasty. And also melanoma is a really serious condition. So protect yourself when you go out to the sun, use UV screen and don't go out the whole day. Your skin is really hardly attacked by UV light. And basal cell cancer is mostly on the face, on the nose, but you can simply extract it and go without any metastasis. So this is not a bad type of cancer. You're walking around the hospital and meet a nephrologist. What does he specialize in? Kidneys, liver, ear, nose and throat. The nephrologist is a doctor for the kidneys. Last question oh, already. How would you rate this quiz? I loved it, it was pretty okay, not great. Nah, let's say it was pretty okay. Uh, the questions were not really difficult. Show me my results. Oh, which answer did we not log in? Ah, <laughs> we forgot the cerebellum. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Quickly, yeah, show me my results. <laughs> Hold tight. Drum roll. Uh, he's a slow wizard. Wow, you must be a math student. You got 12 out of 12 correct. Well, well, I am a math student, so this is not so surprising. <laughs> so that's it already. I hope you guys also enjoyed this video. Um, leave a comment down below. How is your score? And of course, leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you're new. It really helps the channel a lot. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.